Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3050 8GB model in Hogwarts Legacy. This one is the Gigabyte Eagle version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers as usual, and I am not overclocking it. You can see all of the GPU specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU Z. This is not the laptop version of the card. I told you it's a the Gigabyte Eagle model, but I always get asked this. Uh, so it has 8GB of GDDR6 memory. Resizable bar is also enabled and over on the left we're pairing it with an i5 13600k and 32 gigabytes of ddr5 6000 megahertz in dual channel let's get into it shall we let's go over the settings now i'm playing at 1080p using dlaa as the anti-aliasing mode because it's by far the best one out of the three we're not using dlss at the moment but i will be utilizing that in just a little bit these are the settings down here and over on the graphics options we're using the recommended preset which is the medium medium settings preset. And we're starting this off in the swamp area, which is a very intensive area for the GPU to run. Hogsmeade and Hogwarts are more CPU bound and it stutters more because usually people are CPU bound there, uh, but we're not, so it actually ends up being a little bit less intensive in those scenarios, although still a bit more stuttery. Uh, anyway, just driving our broom, flying our broom, piloting our broom, I don't know, I, yes. Doing things to our broom, th that's the worst. <laughs> Let's forget about the broom. Flying around the swamp areas, you can see that it's getting around 60 frames per second. Yeah, sometimes it drops, as you can see, like 57, 58. It's not too bad, though. It's, it's a decent experience. It's kind of lackluster, honestly, for a 3050 to only be getting, like, close to 60 frames per second on average at 1080p medium settings. And compared to something like the RTX 2060, which we tested earlier today in the channel yeah the 3050 loses by a lot even though it has two gigabytes more of vram and it's from the 30 series instead of 20 series in terms of raw power raw performance uh, the 2060 still beats the heck out of the 3050 in pretty much every game out there this is closer to like a 1660 ti in performance it also has two gigabytes more of vram than the 1660 ti as well as dlss support which is a major deal of course Anyway, out of that swamp area, what, th there's a fish right there. Wait a second, wait a second, wait, 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 I want to see this. No, come on, come on, come on, crispy potter, let's go, let's go. Where's the fish? There it is! What the heck? It's like a salmon, right? Because they actually jump up the river sometimes. Maybe this one just got here. Yeah, look at that, they're down there. You made a huge jump, boy. Wait a second, can we save him, guys? Let me uh, okay, there we go, there we go. Um, Accio now, oh, Levioso again, now Accio, A Accio to the fish, please, thank you, no, there we go, there we go, Incendio, roasted fish, he didn't die, I, I don't think he's gonna die anyway, so, uh, it's fine, he's gonna find his way back to, to the river, I think, uh, hello Jack, how's it going, <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so beautiful, always great to see you, buddy, Let's uh, fight these bastards just for a little bit. It shouldn't really be intensive whenever you are in fights. It usually doesn't drop by too much. And yep, yeah, this wasn't even a fight, honestly. But all right, I think that's it. It does drop here and there from 60 frames per second and close to it at times. Uh, but overall, the experience is quite nice. Not too stuttery. Uh, the VRAM is enough here at medium settings and 1080p. And yeah, I could definitely enjoy my time playing this game at 1080p medium settings and medium also looks pretty good let's go ahead and try it with dlss on quality now let's go down to the swamp area once again check out the fps down here 190 the thing is this looks almost the same as using the la8 it's slightly more pixelated in some areas if you really look for it like for some pixelation um, but it's so much smoother and it never drops from 60 FPS and it's so close in quality that I think this is probably the way to go if you're running at 3050 here in this game. And if you want the medium settings, of course, maybe high with DLSS will also be a decent option. Let's go down there, fire away. Let's fight these. Uh, can I, can I get some effects going on here, please? There we go. That is beautiful. Not a ton of effects though, but... It's all right. Let's go fight these guys. Okay, nice, good stuff. 
There we go. This is what I wanted to see. The protector or something like that, you know. And let's go. Wolf Animagus. Get off of here, boy. There we go. Nice. Now let's do Expelliarmus. Expelliar Incendio. That was a nice Incendio there, buddy, but you missed the target. Okay. <laughs> Expelliarmus again. Nice. No, that wasn't nice. I, I missed it. Oh, we, 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 we killed one of them that was behind us. What? Everybody's dead now. Interesting. All right. Did the FPS drop too much there? No, not really. So those are some absolutely insane gains in terms of frames per second here, guys. 70s now. Dropping a little bit further here. All right, but still, it's going to be a 60 plus FPS experience all of the time, 100%. It looks better than like native resolution with TAA as well. Uh, so I can definitely recommend this experience. If you have a 3050 and you want to buy this game, feel free to do so. It's going to look great and it's going to play great as it should. Here we go, 2560 by 1440 using NVIDIA DLAA and no upscaling at the moment and we're using the same medium settings. All right, and oh boy, it's already dropping so much, dude. Wow, that is crazy, actually. The difference between 1080p and 1440 is insane, both in terms of visuals and uh, the performance as well. Although it was getting around 60 FPS, actually. <laughs> so not that big of a drop, like... Uh, 25% drop or so uh, in performance, which makes it feel a bit more stuttery, for sure. Like, whenever you drop from 60 FPS in this game, that frame time is just... It goes crazy for some reason. Like, usually in properly optimized games, I guess, um, it doesn't really make our frame time go crazy. It doesn't have a lot of spikes whenever you drop from 60 frames per second, but that's not the case in this one. Now, flying around these river areas is one of the most intensive things that you can do. You can see a lot of stuttering happening right now. Like, that frame time sometimes has some huge Castle. spikes and Must that's really, really annoying. Time. You know what, let's check it out in Hogsmeade as well. A lot of people like me to test it here. As I told you, it's probably going to get a little bit more FPS than what we saw previously. Um, just slightly, but with a little bit more stuttering as well. So yeah, it goes up into the 50s, as you can see. Again, this is a CPU-bound scenario. If you have a slower CPU, say like a Ryzen 5 2600, for example, with your 3050, you are going to see insane stuttering issues here and really low FPS. But if you have a better CPU, like a Ryzen 5 5600, for example, that won't bottleneck a 3050, you should see around the same results in Hogsmeade as I am seeing right now. Oh yeah, I remember this area to be super intensive as well for some reason, like with the 2060 dropped a ton here. And it's the case as well, look at that, 35 minimum. Okay, it's still playable even at native 1440p and medium settings. I also wouldn't go down to low settings because it looks really bad compared to medium. Um, and you know, if you are fine with that 30 to 60 FPS experience, it's okay. You can play like that. But I would much rather have DLSS enabled here and medium settings. Look at that. It's not 60 plus all of the time, but it's pretty similar to what we saw at 1080p native resolution and medium settings, right? I mean, it might actually be dropping a little bit more now, but it is really similar in terms of the experience, guys. Yeah. It's not bad whatsoever. I could definitely enjoy the game like this, and I would probably end up doing so uh, if I had a 1440p monitor with this GPU. By the way, high settings is not a good idea with the 3050. I will still test high settings, but only at 1080p, because, again, if you are playing at um, 1440p, you really, really need medium settings. There's no way around it. Like, high settings are way more intensive than medium in this game. And it, the 3050 is just going to get wrecked at 1440p and above. Um, now, let's go to the forest right here. Usually it drops a bit here as well. Not too much, though. It's not bad. Yeah, it's still around 60 FPS. I am actually a little bit impressed about the FPS that we're getting right here. The 2060, if I remember correctly, it didn't really drop too much from 60 FPS either um, at these settings. So that, that was pretty good, you know, for a 1440p experience. Even though that's a 6GB GPU, 
it still can do better than the 8 gigabyte RTX 3050, just because of that raw performance. I'm also surprised to see that that VRAM usage is pretty much under 6 gigabytes all of the time, so that could be why the 2060 didn't really have any issue at this resolution in settings as well, because, well, it has this enough VRAM so after nice. all, and that's something that I did not expect to see in this one. And now we are in the swamp area, still dropping into like the mid to low 50s, pretty much similar to what we've seen so far. I'm impressed that it's not dropping further in this area, because I thought this was a really, really intensive area. Not bad whatsoever, it still can be a playable and enjoyable experience with 3050 at 1440p. Now, 4K resolution, this is definitely not something that you should utilize on a 3050, but I know a few people that do play games at 4K with this card. Yeah, right away you can see it's, it's a terrible idea to pair this card with a 4K monitor. It looks gorgeous, but... Uh, yeah, that's about it. It doesn't play gorgeous whatsoever. <laughs> Although it's good for screenshots and stuff. You can still move around and position your screenshot and take it at medium. No, probably nobody will do that. <laughs> Let's just move on and play with the LSS. I thought it was going to be closer to the lower 30s than the higher 30s and 40s. Interesting. It's not terrible. And again, we are in the swamp area, which, yeah, there are a few areas that are a little bit more intensive than this, but it's a pretty good indication of what to expect in most of the map in this one, I guess. Sometimes you're going to get a bit higher, sometimes you're going to get a bit lower FPS. Now, the main issue is that frame time. Look at it. It is so unstable that I cannot recommend this experience, even with DLSS. If they manage to fix the stuttering issues with some patches, or something uh, that would be insane because this would have been playable without stuttering still in terms of averages and one percent lows it's not too bad even with all of that stuttering issue now balanced dlss this should be a little bit better and should put us comfortably above like 35 all of the time okay yeah, the 40 FPS are not bad whatsoever. That's a huge waterfall. I want to check out the FPS near the water here. Yeah, not too this bad. A lot of stuttering. Boy, oh boy. This guy's always interrupting me when I'm talking. Well, I'm always talking. It's <laughs> probably why, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I always get a little bit of stuttering in my brain whenever he does that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Ooh, dropping a lot here in the vegetation areas. Damn! Alright, I guess at 4K resolution it might become more intensive whenever you are flying around bushes and uh, trees. Wow, look at that frame time. Like, the frame time is just awful. <laughs> it looks like it's dying or something. <laughs> Let's do DLSS performance. Now, this doesn't look as good. You can tell that it's starting to get pretty soft like this, but it does give us a little bit more FPS, which is much needed at 4K resolution with the 3050, of course. Look at that. 40s and even 50 frames per second at times. That's pretty good. Let's go up here, follow this little river, see if the FPS drop around the water. I don't think they do. That's quite nice, okay. And now let's check it out here in the middle of all of this vegetation. It's not dropping too much. All right, that is good. Okay, it still stutters a lot, yes, because it is below 60 frames per second, and whenever you are below 60, it tends to stutter more. It's just the nature of the game. Um, but it is not terrible. A big improvement compared to balanced DLSS and uh, quality DLSS at this resolution. Again, it looks a bit softer, and you can tell on a big 4K monitor that you're not playing at native resolution, uh, whereas in DLSS quality, it's really, really close to the point where, if you didn't know, uh, you could say it's running at native resolution. That's pretty decent. 48 FPS on average, and now the 1% lows were finally above 30 at 4K. So not as much stuttering either. And lastly, we are back to 1080p DLAA using the high settings preset and right away it is at 40 ish frames per second so no 60 frames and 
we're probably gonna see a lot of stuttering as well again because we are <laughs> at lower than 60 frames per second at the moment yeah i i don't like that guys i would <laughs> look at that frame time i would much rather have the medium settings and the smooth frame rate at above 60 fps oh my god <laughs> It's falling apart at the moment. Oh no, it's terrible. Uh, however, high settings look way better than medium settings. That's for sure. Like, you gain some really good looking shadows. You can see it in the ground, our shadow right there. Yeah, that's really nice looking. And especially at night when you use your Lumos thing with the wand, you can see every single shadow of every single leaf. Um, on screen it's it's beautiful and it's very very impressive visually but yeah it, it's it's at 40 frames per second it might even drop from 40 frames per second at times not good it's similar to that 1440p medium settings experience i would say although maybe slightly more stuttery i don't know yeah look at that yeah uh, so much stuttering <laughs> in hogsmeade man oh it's bad. Seven gigabytes of usage right now. Now, I think the 2060 also did stutter quite a bit. Maybe more than this because it was running out of VRAM after all. Um, but yeah, th this is also not really that enjoyable. Again, if they fix the freaking stuttering issues in this game, I'm not sure if they will ever fix that because it's an Unreal Engine 4 title and all of them stutter for some reason. But yeah, if they did, this would have been a really gorgeous and very enjoyable uh, way to play this game. You also have the LSS which can be set to quality at 1080p and provide a really similar experience to the LAA and now we are well above 60 FPS again. Oh yes, that feels way better instantly. It still has a lot of little spikes there but not as huge of spikes as previously, right? Like that frame time, although it's still very unstable and terrible, <laughs> um, it is a bit more stable and a bit smoother as well. I will actually go as far as saying that if you're playing at 1080p resolution on a 1080p monitor, you should probably play with the LSS on quality and high settings just because of that boost in, in uh, visual fidelity. It's, it's great. However, it does drop still in really, really intensive scenarios like this one right here, which is, again, the most intensive it's area that I've come across so far. Careful. And you can even avoid it altogether. Like, you don't need to come here, I guess, <laughs> ever in this game. But if you do, oh my god, it still drops into the 40s. And massive stuttering issues once again because we are down into the 40s. Holy... All right, I did not expect that, actually. I don't know what I choose, honestly, now. I think I would still play like this, because it looks awesome, and most of the time it is above 60 FPS. But it will drop sometimes. Oh, even here it is dropping. Oh, no, no, don't do this to me. Come on, 3050. Give me slightly more FPS, man. Oh. I'm a bit disappointed at the moment. If you want 60 plus all of the time, you got to play at medium no matter the resolution unless you want to play at 720p of course then i should work absolutely fine without stuttering but yep i guess that's been it for this video my friends thank you very much for watching it don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already catch you in the next one very soon tomorrow it's gonna be a minecraft video so stay tuned in for that as always love you all Bye bye